now we want to recreate this title screen. So in the lesson or YouTube video, I included the links to the images that I used to create the screen. So this lesson won't be about creating the image, but how to take what's created and make it OpenBOR ready. But if you want to go through the steps of layering the images and all that, you can, but that won't be the focus. So let me go ahead and just quickly create the image. You can choose to follow or not. The end result will be available to you in this lesson anyway. I'm making the dimensions of this image 320 by 240 to match the current game's video mode. Note that this isn't the only way to do this, but this is the way we'll do it as it's just quicker to do it through GIMP for the purpose of this tutorial.
Now that we have the image, let's download it and save it to our game assets folder. Then open it up in GIMP. If you have followed along with what I did, you should already have a GIMP project open. I'll move as if I downloaded it from the lesson. So the first thing we need to do is open up the following menu. Image Mode Indexed. This will limit the colors down to an 8-bit palette with up to 256 colors. I'm setting the number to 255 because we'll need to add one more color to make sure none of these colors get hidden. All right, go ahead and click convert and you'll see the colors change slightly to allow for the palette that was created from it. So from here, we need to create our own palette to add one more color, which will be our transparency color. If you look at the current palette, you can see the color of the index zero is black, which is used in this image. Index zero will be used as our transparency color. So we need to add a color that isn't being used in this image so that all other colors will be seen. In our case, we're going to use pink, but you can use whatever color you like as long as it isn't already in the current palette. All right, so let's make sure our palettes tab is open. If you don't see this, make sure to go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and Palettes to open it. All right, so once open, right click inside of the area and click Import Palette. For our source, we'll select Image and click Import. Make sure to take note of the name beside of Image as that will be your palette name. Our palette name in this case is New BOR Dash Title. Now that it's imported, let's find that palette in our list and double click on it to open it up. Now you'll notice a black box at the bottom right. So click on that box as we want to add a color to that box to represent our transparent color. It takes whatever color you have in your foreground. So in our case, let's make sure our foreground color is set to pink, which is red and blue both being set to 100 and green being set to zero. Now that it's set, we'll click on the create a new entry button to add the color. You'll now see the addition of the pink color being added to that palette. This has not been applied to the image yet, just the palette we created. So in order to apply this palette to your image, go back to your image and go to colors, map, set color map. Color map is basically a palette. So whenever you see color map in GIMP or Photoshop, it, it, it applies to your palette. You will then find your palette called new BOR dash title. Closing this window and clicking OK to apply the palette. If you want to see that the palette has been applied, you can just go to colors, map, rearrange color map, and you'll see the pink color at the bottom right. But what we need to do is move that color to the top left, right before the index zero color. So keeping this window open, let's go ahead and click and drag this pink color to the top left before the index zero color. As you can see, the index is still set to 255, so we'll need to do something to fix that. Otherwise, the game won't recognize it as a transparency color, which is designated by index zero. We have to find a way to do that. So let's click OK to save this and then open up Colors, Map, Rotate Colors. This window is responsible for rotating the colors to reorder the index numbers. The only thing you have to do is click the clockwise checkboxes and that will reorder the numbers. You'll notice it affecting the image, but when you click both boxes, the colors will come back. Then click OK. 
Let's see what happened to your palette by going to, again, colors, map, rearrange color map. Now we see the pink color in the top left with an index of zero. That means that none of the colors will be seen as a transparency color now. It is now OpenBOR ready, and let's go ahead and export this to our game assets folder as title.png. So in order to do that, let's go to File and Export. Find your game assets folder, then save it as title.png. I'm gonna do the same thing one more time for the menu screen, which has a darker hue over the top. All right, so let me explain one thing. You can also save an image as an 8-bit RGB modded PNG file. And you don't even have to do all of that 8-bit stuff and you have to worry about the palettes and all that. But I wanted to show you both ways. So you actually could have just used the image that you downloaded as the title screen as well. But it's also good practice to learn both ways just in case you have to worry about limitations. So in the darker hue screen, we'll just download this file linked in the description to your game assets folder. I'll quickly show you how I created this image as well. You can choose to follow along or not. All right, so now that we have these in our game assets folder, let's copy these files by selecting them and then you can hold control and click on each file to select both of them. Once done, let's go ahead and copy by either using right click or the short key, which is control C. Now let's go to your build, data, and BGS folder. We're gonna paste them in that folder. Last thing we need to do is rename the files because these new files need to match the names of the original files, which are title and title B. Title represents the main screen. Title B represents the darker hue menu screen. So let's rename the originals by adding dash old to those file names. Then for the two new ones, we'll rename them to title.png and titleb.png. Then we can turn the game on and look at what happens. Notice how the screen is decent, but in the advanced course, we'll go over how to use sprite models to draft up your title screen, which will give an even clearer screen. Now you can see how you can add new images, and I gave you both ways. So let's go into animated screens. We hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials. Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin. Appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.